probably gonna use String Shot. Yeah! <laughs> now he's dead. Kicked his ass. No, Katabi can't. Out it. What? Caterpie can't out it? Japanese translation, why? <laughs> what the fuck was that shit? My god. Now, the people at the start of the game don't really matter. In the ways of, like, what's going to be happening later. Uh, if you're out of Pokemon, trainer, or if you're... Yeah. I forgot to read both of those, but whatever. It's not a big deal. The Pokemon trainers don't really say anything super exciting in this game. As I'm sure you guys already know. I don't know how easily we're going to be able to fight Brock in the fact that my Charmander is only a level 11. And usually he's like a level, like, 16 by now. Because I don't give a shit about the other Pokemon usually when I play. Alright, so this is another one of those experiences where Kakuna doesn't attack you. He just uses Harden. I think. I hope. So Caterpie's just going to get free experience off of this. Yeah. There's another thing that's pretty funny later. With, uh, with our rival Cypher. He gets an Abra. And, uh, he just decides, you know, this Abra, he's pretty fucking good. He only knows Teleport, so I'm gonna throw him into battle with Teleport. Teleport does nothing. Against trainers, at least. I always found that kind of funny. Now this fight is gonna be absolutely ridiculous. Caterpie, get a crit. Do some damage. Oh my god. We're gonna run out of tackle. We're legitimately gonna run out of tackle. That sucks. He's almost dead, though. He's getting there. Here's the critical hit. It's too bad it didn't finish him off, though. There we go. It's a good 106 HP right there. Or experience. About to use a Weedle. I'm not gonna change. Now I will change. God, it is really hot in my room. I need to get like a fan. I usually, uh, I close the door when I record games. Just to be courteous. Because I talk pretty loud when I play video games, so if I close the door a little bit, or if I close the door, it, it muffles the sound at least a little bit more. Uh, but, in retrospect, it also makes this fucking room a sauna. Like, right now, I'm actually, legitimately, I am sweating in this chair. If that door was open, I could be, I could be wearing a blanket and be fine. But Caterpie's evolving into a Metapod. So there's our first evolved Pokemon in the game. And I'm pretty sure uh, Caterpie and Weedle, their only role to play is to show that Pokemon evolve, and that's why they evolve at such a low level.
They threw all kinds of, like, that kind of shit into the game. Just to teach people about Pokemon. They could have just did it to do it, though. I mean... I have no idea. I could be totally wrong. I'm surprised we haven't found a Pikachu yet. Our level 7 Metapod's gonna kick this. Maybe not. We'll use Tackle three times and see what happens. Our level 7's gonna beat this level 4, though. I hope. How much damage does Struggle do? <laughs> well, actually, we won't even be able to find out. Fuck that. I'm not using String Shot. Like, how many times? 40 times. <laughs> As if. What else needs to be? Pidgey. Pidgey needs to be leveled up. Let's throw Pidgey in. He knows Gust. Damn. Pidgey doesn't even know Sand Attack yet. Got Pidgey right out of the gate. Metapod's almost dead, though. And Pidgey should level up from this. If not, he will be very close. That's the thing that I hate the most about this. It doesn't show the... the EXP bar underneath their names. And their HP and stuff. It has no, e no EXP bar, which really sucks. And the newer ones... Pokemon Fire Red. And Leaf Green. That's there. There's also a trainer right here, I'm pretty sure. But... Not on this one. This one, the trainer, does not exist. God damn, we got another Metapod. It's more experience for Pidgey. And Metapod. I wonder how much potions are gonna cost. Or if they're even in the next town. Because if, if they're in the next town, I'm just gonna use potions <laughs> to beat Brock. gonna be my playstyle for at least the little starting of the game and then when I leave off I'll, I'll level up a whole bunch I'll treat this like Final Fantasy and if I see a Pokemon that I haven't gotten yet I will I will fight it and I will not catch it I will let you guys experience me catching the Pokemons Pokemans I'm just not one of those people that that likes to uh, start up a recording and be like, here's what you guys missed, because I hate doing that. It doesn't feel right to me. It feels like I'm cheating, cheating the people that watch it. Pidgey's definitely going to level up this time, though. Really? <laughs> God damn. Either way, though, there's an item right here. Found a potion. You think we could do it with two potions? Oh, I got an itchy eye. He wants to fight us. He wants us to wait up so he can fight us. He has one Weedle, and it's a level 9. This Weedle's about to get fucked. Not by my Metapod, though. You can get fucked by Charmander. Bam. Suck a dick, Weedle. Get fucked. There it is. I give, you're good. 
at this. I always felt bad for like the starting of the game, because it just feels like you're going through, you're going through a forest, right? You never found these trainers before in their life. They just caught their very first Pokemon, literally straight out the gate. They probably just found that shit in the wild, threw it out to fight me, and I just fucking crushed their dreams every single time. Like, how bad do you think they must feel? They probably go home and cry. They just give up on life. I should have threw out my Pidgey, but that's okay. We'll just kill Metapod super quick. Level up our Metapod. Or not. God, things take so long to level up in this game. I'm pretty sure you get, like, Nidorans, Pidgeys, and Rathathats in here. I guess we'll check real quick. What's the first Pokemon gonna be? We got a Pidgey. And we don't need Pidgey, so... Let's throw out Rathathat. That's another thing I did a lot when I was a kid. I, I called Rathathat, or Rathata, Rathatat. Because that was what it said to me. That was how I read that. I critted the shit out of him. He lost like half of his HP. And I missed. It's okay, Rat's Attack can take the hit. It's all good. He's gonna sacrifice himself. So that Pidgey can get the experience. Or Nidoran, I guess. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's use Leer at the start of the fight, too. God damn it. I'm gonna switch Leer and, uh, tackle real quick. There we go. Alright, we should have this in the bag, though. There it is. The early on battles in the game don't really give you a lot of experience, which kind of sucks. It takes a pretty long time to level up, I guess. So the bad thing is, we have no Pokemon that are super effective against Brock. The good thing is, we have potions. Yeah, no, we have nothing that's good against any of his Pokemon. We're gonna sacrifice everything except for Charmander at the start. Try and get them to level up. Actually, hold on. I lied. We're gonna let Charmander get the experience for the first few fights. We're gonna go into the Pokemon Mart and see if they got some potions. They do have potions. They, we have enough for two potions. We have enough for two potions. So I'm gonna have four in total. This is gonna suck. But at least if we die, we don't lose everything. We we'll lose a little bit. Potions cost 300 bucks. Potions cost more than Pokeballs. A little bit backwards, I think. You would think the Pokeballs would be a lot more because they're like high tech. Potions are potions, I guess. Anyway, we're gonna fight this guy. Stop it right there, kid. You're still light years from facing Brock. I'm actually like a hop, a skip, and a step away, but you know, I'll let him dream. So he has a Diglett. And it's a level 11. That sucks. But that's okay, because Scratch actually hurts Diglett. It doesn't hurt Geodude. It hurts Diglett, though. Well, it doesn't hurt Geodude as much. Scratch sucks against Geodude. 